Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to discuss a very important question related to stacks and this question is asked in many companies like Amazon, Apple, Google and Microsoft at a start. So in this question we have given a string as representing a valid expression and we have to implement a basic calculator to evaluate it and return the result of the evaluation. So this is the example one given. So for this there is one input string s and we have this expression 1 plus 1 and we have to give the result as 2. So same way this is example 2 and in example 3. So let's start by writing this code and I will explain step by step in the code itself. Okay. So here first we need to create a one stack of integers. Now after that we have given an one string s. So now uh, let's create one char array. Char of cares. And here we are going to convert this string to char array. Okay. Now let's uh, create three variables int num is equal to 0 and create one variable sign as minus 1 and one more to store result is equal to 0 ok so now we are going to iterate over the each character in the string so for that we are going to use for each loop now <clears throat> we are going to first check if our character is digit if it's true then we are going to insert this value into the num num is equal to num into 10 plus character dot get number get numeric value okay so here what's going to happen let's say in the string we have given something like this s is equal to 1 2 plus 5 okay so now what happens here in the string since we are converting it into the char array so first char is 1 so first char is 1 ok so now when first char is 1 we have given initialized num as 0 ok so num is equal to num into 10 0 into 10 0 plus character dot get numerical value c so our num is equal to 1 ok now after 1 here comes 2 so for 2 our next character is 2 so then our num will be 2 then 1 we are going to run this expression 1 into 10 plus now 
the character is two. Character dot get numeric value two. So our next num output is twelve. So in this way we get this whole character as one number. Okay. So in this way we are going to insert the value into num. Num is equal to num into ten plus character dot get numeric value c. After that we are going to check. if we encounter plus symbol okay so if the char is plus then in that case we are going to update the value of result like this result is equal to result plus number into sign and after that we are going to change num is equal to 0 and we are going to update sign is equal to 1 okay so what happens here now our num becomes to have here for this example now comes plus plus symbol okay so now when we encounter plus so what we are going to do we are going to update the value of result so our result is equal to result here you can see we initialize result as 0 so 0 plus num 12 into our sign sign is initially we have given it minus uh, we have given it 1 okay so now here our result is so here our result is 0 plus 12 into sign so our result is 12 okay so now our result is 12 after that one more digit is coming here 5 so what happens when 5 comes so it is a digit and in the plus also we make num as 0 okay so now when 5 comes then this num is 0 at that time so 0 into 10 plus 5 so num is become 5 so now now we become 5 num is equal to 5 okay so now num is equal to 5 and our output here is result is equal to result plus number into sign so our result will be 17 okay so like this we are going to run so now we checked for plus now let's check if we encounter minus char if c is equal to minus then we are going to update a result as result plus num into sign and num we are going to num update num is equal to 0 and now this time we are going to update sign as Minus one. Okay, so let me write first complete code, then I will explain step by step with one example. So if our next care, let's say uh, open bracket, then in that case we are going to first push. the result and then we are going to push the sign into the stack and update a result is equal to 0 after this and sign equal to 1 
write one else if for closed braces as well else if care is equal to closed bracket now in this case we are uh, uh, going to operate a result is equal to result plus num into sign and now operate num is equal to 0 result is equal to result into stack dot pop so here stack dot pop means we are going to get a sign value here and next time when we are going to update result as result plus stack dot pop so this time in the stack dot pop we are going to get previous result value okay now in the end let's say our input is like this one plus one so in this case we didn't encounter any closed braces so now for in that case what we are going to do we are going to write in the end result as sign result as result plus sign into num and we are going to return result after that so okay let me run this code once then i will explain with one example so here uh, we are getting one array okay uh, we are going to update this array symbol okay So all the test cases are passed. Let me try to submit it. So our code is working fine and the runtime is 7 milliseconds and you can see it beats 86.92% of users with Java. So now uh, let me try to explain it with one example. Let's say we pick this example. Let me clean this area first. So this is the input and output given to us and this is our code okay so here First, we are going to create one stack of integers. So let's say I created a stack like this. Okay. Now uh, we are going to change. We are going to change uh, this string into a char array, and we are going to initialize num as zero, sign is equal to one, and result is equal to zero. Okay. So here we change it to char array and here we initialize our stack and now we are going to iterate over each character in a string. So first we are checking if our character is digit or not. So here uh, in the string you can see uh, we have first uh, this open brace come. Okay. So now when in our input we encounter open bracket. So what we are going to do we are going to push our result into the stack. So initializing, uh, we have initialized our result as 0. So we are going to push 0 into our stack first. Okay. Now, after that, we are going to push sign into the stack. So our sign is uh, this plus 1. Okay. So this is our sign. Now after that, if our if open bracket we encounter open bracket we are going to operate a result as zero and sign is equal to one okay so now our result is equal to zero and sign is equal to 
plus one okay so this is our first step when we encounter open brackets after that comes one so we are going to go here character do is digit one so yes it is a character and now our num value is zero In we initialize num as zero zero into ten plus character dot get numeric value one so our num is equal to one num is equal to one okay now after that we encounter plus symbol after that <coughs> we encounter plus symbol then in the code we write whenever we encounter plus symbol we are going to update a result as result plus num into sign so now our result is equal to in the previous step you can see result is zero so okay so zero plus num num one and sign is positive so result is one okay so now when we encounter plus so our result becomes one and here after we are going to update num as zero again whenever we encounter plus symbol we are going to update num is equal to zero and sign is equal to one okay so here we have covered this plus as well now comes open braces okay open bracket so this is going to be four step <coughs> so now comes open bracket so whenever we encounter open bracket we are going to push the result into the stack so now result one goes into the stack first this is a result and after that we are going to push the sign so sign is positive here so i will write like this here in the stack plus one okay so now this is a four step when we encounter open braces so we have covered till this open bracket okay now comes four so if four comes then it is a digit okay so four is a digit so also in the fourth step when we encounter open braces you can see here we are operating the result as zero you can see in the code that we are operating result as zero and sign as one okay now we are in fifth step so in fifth step uh, we encounter digit four so when we encounter four digit we are going to operate num as in the last time you can see num is equal to zero so this time our num is equal to four okay zero into ten plus four so num is equal to four and then comes plus symbol okay so when we encounter plus symbol we are going to operate a result as result plus num into sign so our result is equal to num result last time result is zero plus num four into sign is positive last time so our result is four and in the plus we are going to operate again num is equal to zero and sign is equal to one okay so this is a sixth step now it comes five okay so when five comes then it is again a digit okay so now if it is a digit then we are going to operate num so in the last step you can see num is equal to zero so now this time our num value is equal to five num is equal to five okay and now we encounter plus symbol this is going to be step eight when we encounter plus symbol then we are going to update the result so result is equal to result plus num into sign so last time result is four okay so now our result is four plus num is five and last time sign is one so four plus five so our result is nine num again in plus we are going to operate num and sign both so num is equal to zero and sign is equal to one <coughs> okay so now after that we are reached we have reached ninth step so after five here becomes two okay so if two comes then again it is a num 
so num is equal to last time num is equal to 0 so 2 0 into 10 plus 2 so num is equal to 2 okay after that num is equal to 2 now we have reached where we have reached to the uh, I write it like this we have reached close bracket okay so we have reached this close bracket 2 okay so now in the close bracket whenever close bracket comes we are going to do result is equal to result is equal to result plus num into sign so last time result is 9 and now this time a num is equal to 2 so 9 plus 2 is 11 okay so our result is 9 plus 2 into 1 so our result whenever we encounter close bracket is 11 and now we are going to update num as 0 here and after that there are two more conditions this is result is equal to result into stack dot pop so in stack you see plus one symbol plus one okay so this is a sign so whenever we are going to multiply result 11 into plus one so it's going to be 11 only so here let me cross this so our result becomes 11 only and then again result is equal to result plus stack dot pop so we again pop one more element so when we pop one more element and added it to result so our result becomes 11 plus this element 1 so now our result is 12 so let me write it here result is equal to 12 so now in the stack we are left with one number 0 and 1 plus 1 sign so now after that here comes minus 3 symbol ok so now when we going to encounter minus 1 so this is going to be our step number 11 ok so now when we encounter minus 1 then we are going to update the result as result plus number into sign so last time you can see number is 0 our result was 12 so now our result comes 12 and now whenever we encounter minus symbol we are going to operate num is equal to 0 and sign as minus 1 ok this is step number 12 now we are going to write step number 12 so after minus comes digit 3 so when our digit is 3 then we are going to operate num as num last time 0 0 into 10 plus character dot get numeric value 3 so our num this time is 3 ok now num is 3 now after that we encounter one close bracket ok so now when we encounter close bracket this is going to be up step number 13 so when we encounter closed bracket now in that case we are going to update first our result as result plus number into sign so last time result is 12 plus number is 3 into sign was minus 1 so now our result is 9 ok result is 9 here result plus num 3 into sign minus 1 so our result is 9 now we are updating num is equal to 0 and after that we are going to again update the result as a result into stack.pop so we did stack.pop here so this is this is a positive plus one so okay so now our result is going to be 9 into plus one 9 so our result is 9 after that we are going to update again update the result as a result plus stack.pop so 9 plus this element 0 so 9 plus 0 is 9 only so at the end of 13th step our result was 9 only ok so now 14th step we have covered till this close back it comes plus symbol so now when we encounter plus symbol then 
what we are going to do we are going to again update has a result as result plus number into sign number is 0 and result is 9 so our result is equal to 9 and in when we encounter plus we are going to update num and sign as 0 and 1 respectively okay so num is equal to 0 sign is equal to 1 okay this is a 14 step now 15 step comes open bracket open bracket so for open bracket we are going to first push our result into the stack so what is our result here 9 so we are going to push 9 into the stack and we are also going to push sign so sign is plus 1 only so we pushed this and this sign plus 1 okay now completed this one completed this one now we are going to operate result as 0 and sign is equal to 1 so now let me update the result as 0 and sign as 1 this is our 15 step now 16 step we encounter 6 so for 6 since last time n is equal to 0 so this time number is equal to 6 only so n is equal to 6 now after that comes plus symbol so in plus symbol we are updating the result first so result is equal to result last time uh, see result equals 0 plus num 6 into sign is positive 1 so our result is 6 only okay now in the full whenever we encounter plus symbol we are updating num is equal to 0 and sign is equal to 1 so num is equal to 0 sign is equal to 1 now after that 18 step we encounter one more digit 8 so whenever 8 comes uh, 8 0 into 10 last time n equals 0 into 10 plus corrected would get numeric value 8 so we get n is equal to 8 okay so now after 8 comes close bracket in the end after 8 comes close bracket so now in the last step when we encounter close bracket what we are going to do when we encounter this close bracket when we encounter this close bracket we are going to operate first result okay so here you can see what is our result our result is 6 so we are going to operate result 6 6 plus num is equal to 8 and sign is positive so 6 plus 8 is 14 so our result come become 14 so here in the end our result is equal to 14 after that we are updating num is equal to 0 after that again we are updating the result as result as result into stack dot pop so in the stack in the top it was plus 1 so our result is 14 into plus 1 so our result is 14 only okay so our result is equal to 14 and after that we implemented this condition after that the result is equal to result plus that is result plus 14 plus stack dot pop so to, now top element is 9 okay so now when we pop this 9 element so our result is 14 plus 9 is equal to 23 okay so this is the required input as you can see here so this is the required output so in this way we have completed the code for this question basic calculator i hope you are that you are able to understand this code and this logic very well so please share like and subscribe my channel till then bye bye